Hi, this is Nick Karaz of Clips and Handles here with Motion VFX to bring you a very exciting tutorial on how to work with M Glitter inside of Adobe After Effects. Now, you might have seen an earlier video on how we integrated text to be revealed by some M Glitter, but in this scene, what we're going to do is we're going to work with a Photoshop cutout file, and we're going to integrate some end glitter into this sports stadium or shot to really spice it up and sell it before we send it out. So inside of Adobe Photoshop, what I did with this shot is just cut a series of layers. So I took this flat photo and with some quick selection masks, we're able to highlight these three people here in the foreground. So if you see here, my background layer is in fact separate. I've got a layer just here for one guy who's tooting his horn, another, the lady over here, and the main guy just here in the middle. First of all, I like to separate these in 3D space a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is here in the 3D cube file, I'm gonna click and make all of these files 3D. Layer one, I'm gonna hit P for position. And the first thing, I wanna move it forward. I like to work in whole numbers to uh, keep everything nice and easy to remember. So I'll make this one negative 1100 can see that that jumps forward. I'm gonna hit S for scale to scale it back down. And then just with my Y position, bring it back up to where it was. Next, I'm gonna take the second layer here and let's make another nice even number, negative 600. I'm gonna hit Shift S for scale. We really don't wanna show the part of uh, her behind there. So I'll quickly just take this file that I've brought down in size. Last, I'll just select the last file, hit P for position, and we'll just remember this is gonna be negative 400. So we've got something at negative 400. I'll hit Shift S for scale, and let's scale it back down to have it in the original place over here. Perfect. So I've got a couple M Glitter effects that I'd like to combine. I've got this lovely falling M Glitter that you can see here. So I'll just move my playhead over that clip. And I really want to capture it from probably from about this point on. So I'm going to hit the option left square bracket to make an in point on this first falling M Glitter. The second one is a falling two. You can sort of see this effect take place. It's just some other glitter that falls in the scene. I'm also going to hit option left square bracket to make and in point in it halfway through the clip. So let's take the first M Glitter falling and just drop it here in the timeline. Once we start to work in 3D, what matters most is the Z position. So I wanna make it 3D. You can see already there that uh, it's positioned in space behind all of the subjects that we moved into a negative number. And I want this glitter to fall over my first two subjects. So I'm gonna hit P for position. And then I'm going to make this negative 750. So keep in mind now that it's basically just the man here is in front. But if we play around with the blend mode of this clip to change it to screen, if it's too strong, we can hit T for opacity. And I'll just bring that down to 50%. So it's a nice overlay on top of our subjects. Let's just do that one more time where I'm going to stick the second M Glitter falling. And like the first, I'll make it 3D just to have it integrated into our scene. And I'm going to make its p position negative 1150. So it's in front of our subject here. If we change the blend mode like we did before to screen, and you don't have to use screen. You can use another blend mode, but it use, works best most of the time. I can even use color dodge to sort of blend that in, and you can see some of the changes there in the background. And then if I hit T for opacity and make this something like 20, we've got this other particles that are flying in front of the subject. Now where this gets even cooler is, let me just add a really simple camera move movement to this shot. So I'm gonna to go to Layer, New, Camera. For these purposes, because I'm just doing a dolly out, I can use a one node without a point of interest. I'll hit OK. And I'm gonna to move to the end of my timeline, which is in this case here at eight seconds. And I'm gonna hit P for position to add a keyframe. I'm gonna then just scrub to the beginning of my timeline and just start to dolly inward just a little bit. Okay, and let me just hit the space bar and we can see the movement in our shot. And that's how within a matter of minutes we're in able to integrate some beautiful M glitter, some 4K M glitter into our After Effects projects here using a little bit of cutouts or stills. And if we wanted to take this a step further, you know, you can slow down the footage as you see fit or keep it as it is, add some blur effects and some lights, and you're well on your way to applying M glitter as well as some of the other practical VFX such as M dust 
into all of your Adobe After Effects projects. Once again, I'm Nick Haraz from Clips and Handles. Thanks for listening and check out some of my other videos on the Motion VFX website.